Hello and welcome. My name is Michelle with Phoenix Below Art. So if you ever been to this channel, you know I do a lot of Dutch pours. I don't do too many blooms. Blooms, I love them. However, I have not been um, successful with them. So today I'm going to do a bloom with this little piggy's pigments. Working on a four by four ceramic tile. And the first little piggy color I'm putting down, which is really pretty blue, um, it's called Sapphire. The second color that I am using, which is asparagus. And the little piggy pigments have really a nice shine to them. And the last color I'm going to use, which is a color shift color called Comet. So I put my colors down in a little puddle. And I put my cell activator on top. And my cell activator is Australian Floetrol and Titanium White. Amsterdam. Blow out my center. And I get cells immediately. Which is really good. But usually there's a, there's a blank center. It's either white or black, whatever your cell activator. So then you blow that cell activator across the rest of the colors which I didn't have, so I ended up messing up the cells. So I only blew it out to one side just to see if cells would actually appear on the side that I blew out because I didn't have any more cell activator. At least that was my thought process. And then I spin it. Spin it several times. And it was a fail because no cells actually appeared. And then of course it was really unbalanced um, because I blew out halfway, half, half, half of the tile and the other half had cells on it. So then I tried to tilt it to bring it back to the center and the side with cells to see if it would look any better. And in my opinion, it did not. But I keep spinning, hoping and wishing something would happen. And it did not. So what I end up doing is scraping this tile and starting over. big scrape and what I should have done is just use that paint again put that on my tile um, I ended up scraping it off because I didn't want to spin it and spin paint all over the place so again I put my pillow on which is a uh, house paint Then I use the same three colors and we try it again. Again, the colors are Sapphire, Asparagus, and Comet. And my cell activator is created with Titanium White and Australian Floetrol. This time I stacked the colors up twice just to see what would happen.
I did get cells, but I still think it was too much paint on the tile. And I also think my base coat, my pillow was very, very thick. Um, so on the last one, I actually thinned it out a little bit. And as they say, if you're gonna fail, fail quick, fail often. And that was definitely a fail. So I scraped that one pretty much almost immediately. I put some of the paint back on top of the, um, the tile, kind of mixed it up a little bit. And then I did put a little bit of GAC in my pillow. This time, what little pillow I did put on it, it did have GAC in it, so it wasn't as thick. Um, and then I started to put the colors on the exact same way again, but then I said, you know why? Might as well do something a little bit different, hoping to get a different result. So I start with the comet this time, which is actually kind of an odd choice, I think, but went backwards and did the comet, asparagus, then the sapphire. And I didn't make a lot of paint. I pretty much made enough to just practice a little bit because again, I'm not very proficient on the bloom process. Um, so I wanted to make sure I at least played with it, used up all the the paint that I was going to use for these tiles. So this time, instead of blowing it out, I just started blowing it across the colors, kind of like in a petal formation, if you will. And I still got the cells in the center, which was good. So out of the three that I did, of course, this was the best one. Um, I will be continuing to practice my bloom process. So next you'll see the, the wet and dried results. Thank you for watching again. My name is Michelle with Phoenix Flow Art. Creating is what I do.